In this video, I'm going to share with you four tools which are incredibly useful when forming reads. They'll save you time and make your final results simply more consistent. So, are you ready for this? It's Morphin Time! Brontosaurus! <laughs> Don't forget, if you like this video and other videos on this channel, to hit the subscribe button and make sure that notifications are on so that you can find your way back for the next one. So you want to make reads like a boss, but sometimes it's hard to be consistent, even though you know that the GSP cane you're working from uh, is of very good quality. In my experience, you need to eliminate as many variables when it comes to hand work as possible. The tools I'm going to suggest to you are going to help you eliminate some of those while also allowing you to save time. These are going to be especially useful for someone who maybe doesn't want to be a read maker themselves, but have to rely on their own hand work if they want to perform on the bassoon at all. So let's start with two tools at the cane preparation stage. The first tool suggestion is the Wiat bevel tool. This is such a simple yet revolutionary tool. All you have to do is take the piece of cane, slot it into the sanding jig, and move it back and forth a few times. Of course, you have to be consistent with how far you bevel up the tube and how, much, how many strokes you make and how much pressure you apply, but that's it. Just be aware that you can over bevel using this tool and end up forming a reed which doesn't seal at the butt end at all. I found that seven or eight double strokes in the sanding jig does the job. In my opinion, this is the best $25 plus shipping that I ever invested in my own reed making career. The value for money ratio here is just staggering. Next up is the 2x reed scoring tool. In fact, this scoring tool is just a screw tap that has been set into a wooden handle, so you theoretically could make your own for less than the $25 price tag if you went straight to the hardware store. However, for the purpose of scoring, this tool is much less finicky than a homemade solution. You save a lot of time and effort scoring with one of these tools. I find that once you figure out how to get the blades to catch against the bark of the wood, it only takes three or four strokes to score one side of the tube and with much less danger to your fingers than if you are normally used to working with hobby knives or utility blades. Furthermore, this is just as effective, if not more so, than scoring with blades. The third tool is the Rieger F210 tool to have the bassoon cane. Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! I have to be honest, I really hesitated putting this tool on the list. It's a lot of money. It's 156 euros if you live in the EU. It'd be a little less if you're shipping it abroad. Uh, if you're really good at folding cane in half, then you may feel like you don't need it. What this allows you to do is never get it wrong again. You might need to tinker with it a bit when it arrives to make sure that it folds your cane perfectly in half, but just imagine saving all that time measuring and folding and sweating over a batch of cane in order to fold them all perfectly in half. It's a bit of a wonder, actually, that this isn't one of the first things we buy, given that playing a double read requires us to make an identical mirror image uh, and folding it in half. Finally, the fourth tool is a reed tip guillotine or tip cutter. There are many companies that produce these. I won't make a suggestion as to whom you should look at, but be aware that these are all quite pricey in the 150 to 200 euro range. Regardless of the price, this is the only way to consistently cut the tips off of your reeds. We all not only want our blades to be the same length, or the length that we intend them to be, rather, we want them to be cut straight and for both blades to be exactly the same length. The tip cutters help us do that consistently and with very little fuss. There is nothing more depressing than making a really beautiful blank and then butchering it at the, right, at the last possible moment by fluffing the tip. This tool makes sure that that never happens again. 
So I hope that this video is helpful to you. If you want to see more info on read making from me, I would suggest going to the bassoons.ch Facebook page linked below and you can watch over 30 live streams on read making topics. And don't forget to please consider supporting my online work by becoming a patron via Patreon or by making an order at bassoons.ch. Thanks very much for watching and take it easy. Bye bye.